everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these adorable treat bags. They're little shaker bags. Uh, I thought they would just be fun rather than using just paper. We're all shaker crazy, right? So here they are. I posted them on my Instagram. Excuse my desk. It is a complete mess right now. Um, I'm in the middle of various projects and I really just wanted to do this tutorial because everyone keeps asking. So here we go. Now, when I did my tutorial, um, I mean my project, I obviously sewed. So I always try to do the alternative so that everyone can uh, follow along if they don't sew or have a sewing machine. So the first thing you're gonna need is a page protector. These are the ones you can pick up from any um, you know, hobby store, Walmart. It's just, that's all I used was this very simple page protector. So besides this, you're gonna use, now I'm giving you a few alternatives. If you have a sewing machine, that's all you're gonna need. If you do not have a sewing machine, you're going to need either tape and a fuse tool, or you can absolutely just do this with tape. Now this is double-sided clear red tape, which I prefer to use um, when I'm working with something clear because you can't really uh, see it. So, and this is the first time I'll actually be using um, the tape while I'm doing this tutorial, so just to test it. Also, you're gonna need glitter and um, sequins if that's what you want up inside, and also die cut stickers. I used a Dear Lizzie stickers for mine, and I have a sheet. I'm gonna show you the sheet I use for it. So what I did was with the page protector, I just cut off one row right here. Oh, it's so hard to see with this glare. So there's this row and I cut off the holes at the end where you would insert it in the um, booklet or whatever it is. So this is what it will look like. This is extremely easy, you guys. Okay, so when you fold your book, you're gonna be doing this and you're going to, this is gonna be your cover. So what I did is for this last page, it's gonna be your pocket. You can leave this, you know, you don't have to. There's two different ways you could do this. You could put it in a booklet and you can make this a pocket, seal it right here and have a little insert like that and just close it. But for me, what I did is I wanted a side pocket so I just cut this into a triangle uh, shape. So, let me just grab my scissors and I did it by eye. I don't have any measurements. So I'm just going to do it. And I know clear paper is so hard to see on camera, so I hope you can see this. So I'm just gonna take it and make it a triangle shape. So you have right there is your pocket. Now this would be the time you probably wanna fill up your shaker. So I'm going to just, all I did was the pocket in the front. I'm getting it everywhere. So it's probably gonna be kinda of sloppy because I have to cook dinner in a few minutes, but I really wanna get this up. So bear with the sloppiness going on right now. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be your cover. That's gonna be your pocket. And it's gonna be like this. So you're gonna to wanna to seal the top. That's gonna to be the very first thing you wanna do. Now, if you have a sewing machine, this is the time you wanna come in and just run it on the top. I'm going to use the fuse tool for an alternative for people. And if you are you don't have a fuse tool, this is the time you would take this double-sided tape. Oh my gosh, my hands are so dry, you guys. I'm sorry. I was working on my yard. Okay, so this is the time you would take um, the double-sided tape and insert in here. I'm going to use the fuse tool and just seal the top. And I hope it's heated up. I've been kind of heating it. And yeah, I'm using a plastic ruler <laughs> instead of my metal one because I don't know where it is. Okay, let me just check this. And it's good to go. Okay. Now I'm going to seal this uh, triangle part up or else it's gonna be loose with the fuse tool. If you wanna add sequins in there, go ahead. I left mine clear. So 
there's that. Now I'm just going to take some double-sided tape and Okay, all I'm gonna do is put it on the bottom so it sticks. So right here, I'm glad this is red so you can see it on camera. Otherwise you would not be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, I just took off the whole tape, seriously? Okay. Okay, I took that off. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Okay, this is going to be a <laughs> bloopers, you guys. I can't believe this is not sticking. It's coming off. I'm having a hard time getting it off. It wants to stick. Bear with me, you guys. I can't see. I need one of those tools. Okay, here it is. So the tape is on and I'm just fold, simply folding it over. That is literally it. And there's my pocket right here. Everyone keeps asking me to sell, but I promise you can do these. Cause look, so to finish this off, I'm going to take a ribbon and the ribbon, I'll just set it down with uh, some tape or whatever. I'm just going to tie this real quick. And let me grab my Dear Lizzie. So I used this Dear Lizzie sticker sheet. It is, I don't know which collection this is. It's, it says accents and phrases. But I don't know. It's a really, really pretty collection, and that's probably what made it pop. So I'm just going to let me see. Just stick a random flower on there. And you can use the thicker uh, chipboard ones that will look really pretty. I originally had them on, but I really just liked the way it looked with the sticker. So that is it, you guys. That is all I did to make that pretty little shaker. It was so easy, and I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Thank you for watching.